In the problem jogging, we help Phoebe understand how many interesting runs she can do in her neighborhood. Um, the first step is to phrase this as a graph problem. Phoebe's neighborhood is given as an undirected graph that is simple and connected. One vertex describes her home and the edges describe streets, so they have positive weights that describe the street lengths. We're also given a range of the length of a valid run. A valid run starts and ends at Phoebe's home, and we can use an edge if it touches the vertex where we currently are in two ways. One way is to go through the entire length of the edge and then end up at the other endpoint. And another way is to turn around in the middle of the edge as many times as we want in order to end up where we started. So we can cover any length uh, in the second way. A run is interesting with respect to previous runs if it uses an edge that wasn't used before and we want to know how many interesting runs we can get. So we need several observations to solve this. The first observation is that the lower bound doesn't matter at all because uh, we can always turn around in the middle of the street and cover any length we want. The second is that uh, since we want a lot of interesting runs, it's better to only use one new edge per run. And then every interesting run corresponds to one new edge. To use this edge, we need to reach it and then reach home uh, going back. And then we also need to pay at least one to use the edge. So the answer is roughly the number of edges that are reachable using half of the upper bound. And more specifically, the solution is to find all distances from home using Dijkstra's algorithm, and then to count how many unique edges touch vertices that are not too far, that are of distance at most, the upper bound minus one divided by two. 